gift. Number one, put a little extra effort into the presentation. Ah. Even if you do have something that's good uh -huh. to re-gift, don't just pass it on in its original packaging, because that's just trifling. Uh, wrinkled tissue paper, gift bags that make it too obvious that the gift was previously opened. At least rewrap it and make sure that there isn't a tag on the bag that's got your name on it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Red flag, red flag. Okay. Number two, make a note of who gave you the gift. With so many gifts being exchanged around the holidays, you can easily run the risk of forgetting who gave you something and then regifting it right back to that same person. So <laughs> I hate when that happens. I know, right? If you know the moment that you get it that you are regifting, make sure you put a note on it right away of who gave it to you and when so you don't have that happen to you. And then number three, consider the item. Now, not all gifts are good regifting candidates. Apparel in general is actually a, re a risky regift or a gift in general because it's so personal. However, one size fit fits all items like scarves or mittens, they can be successfully regifted. But food gifts, if you don't want them, you should just toss them out, to be completely honest. Don't try to regift food. <laughs> uh, clothing is most likely to be returned item where tech gifts are least likely to be brought back. So for more information, go to gooddaysacramento.com, click on show info and the, today's date at the top of the page, get some more details about regifting successfully. Mm. You don't want to go to go left. Right. And it messes up the relationship. That's very awkward. At the very. very least, you're like the butt of the joke for the next decade. At least. <laughs> and you're still going to be talking about the next Christmas. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Just a <laughs> we like to light things up around here in the morning. We